referring to January 6th as a riot that happened two years ago. Uh, should that be at the top of the issues when it comes to midterms? Sure. No, it, it's stupid and it makes them look even worse to keep going back on that January 6th. Like it's over, <laughs> you know? <laughs> What's going on, everyone? James Klug here. The midterms are right around the corner, and according to the recent Harvard-Harris poll, the majority of Americans say that they're most concerned with inflation, the economy, and immigration, but they think that Democrat Party leaders are most concerned with January 6th, climate change, and abortion. So, are Democrats out of touch? Today we're going to find out. Let's go talk to some people. Huge shout out to Established Titles for sponsoring this video. Obviously the midterms are coming up. Um, what would you guys say are the three most important issues facing the country today? Homelessness is one. First one is uh, economy. Saving our democracy from right-wing people. What do you think? Um, kindness. Kindness. Yeah. Huge. I think it's the division in, in, in our beliefs. You know, all the election deniers. What are the three greatest issues, in your opinion, leading up to this, these midterms? What do you think, babe? What do we think, babe? What do we think? I would say inflation. Okay. And uh, crime. Two uh, big ones, yeah. I'm sick and tired of seeing people in, you know, in Walgreens, you know, getting shoved and people just walking up and taking stuff. Walgreens is having a tough year. That's, that's kind of ridiculous, in my opinion. And just truth and honesty. I'd say the Democratic Party. I would go against him, no, because I am a Democrat. So, <laughs> are, you, are you guys together? Yes, we're married for 15 years. And you're a Democrat? Yes, and he's a Republican. Well, I used to be. Well, he used to. Well, I used to always vote Democratic, but now I don't. Yeah. What made you? What made you uh, walk away from uh, that? Just like the last five years, probably the way they became. Yeah. Okay. And you're still holding on. Yeah, I'm still holding on. The inflation, and the third one would be the border. Okay. Now I'm asking this question because Harvard Harris poll, they came out showing, asking people this exact question. Now, your three answers were the three answers that they got. If you can see right here, the top three was price increases slash inflation, well, economy how, and jobs, how can they not be? and immigration. How can they not be? What would you say Democrat party leaders are most focused on going into the midterms, like three top things? I think probably fair elections. Democrat Party leaders are most focused on fair elections? Fair elections, saving our Social Security, which I am really much concerned about. Overall, I think they're doing a better job than I would say the Democrats, the, the Republicans have no agenda. We're talking about the recent Harvard-Harris poll, basically. It polls Americans on what the most important issues are. Uh, and when they polled Americans on what they believe Democrats to be most, what they see Democrats most concerned with, the number one issue was January 6th. Number two was abortion. Number three was climate change. Would you guys agree with those top issues yes, being the issues to focus on? First of all, is saving our planet for one. Yeah. This is our home and we have to take care of it. Okay. And if we don't care about it, and if all we care about is gasoline and oil and coal, come on. Right. What's going to happen to the rest of the, and the our planet? Future generations, our and the future grandkids. generations for my grandchildren. Right. Do you guys think January 6th should be a top uh, issue to focus on? Yes. Do you guys really? agree with that outcome? So January 6th, which, and I do. Climate uh, change, yeah. Yeah, climate change, yes, for sure. Is that a problem for Democrats, this, this, these, like, you know, as the midterms are, are, say, are approaching? I'd say immigration for me is a bigger issue than January 6th. Okay. Oh, no, I think January 6th is huge. January 6th is well, huge? it's huge. It's huge. It's as far as does our, does our... People are referring to January 6th as a riot that happened two years ago. Uh, should that be at the top of the issues when it comes to midterms? Sure. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. You're not sold on it? Well, I think it's an issue, but I think, like, let's move on. It's and... not over. The reason why we're asking this, I, 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 we're, we're talking about the recent Harvard-Harris poll. They pull everyone, what their opinions are on Republican leaders, Democrat leaders. I'm asking people what they think that uh, Democrat leaders are most focused on uh, going into the election. It seems like they're most focused on Trump. They need to be focused on the people. All right, everyone, let's take a quick second to talk about today's sponsor. The holidays are coming up, and I have the perfect gift idea. So you might be wondering, James, you look particularly cocky today. Well, 
I'll tell you why. Because I can now refer to myself as Lord Klug. Why, you ask? Because I now own one square foot of gorgeous, dedicated land in Scotland with a unique plot number. Eddleston, Scotland, to be specific. And according to Scottish custom, landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. I even got a framed certificate with my name on it. So yes, you can officially refer to me as Lord Klug, and I can put that on my next credit card or plane ticket, and you know I will. The name of this awesome company is Established Titles, and they figured out a fun way for you to become a lord or lady while also preserving the natural woodlands of Scotland. They also plant a tree with every order and work with global charities like One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. So, the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot. We can build a Klug Kingdom in Scotland and slowly take over from there. But in all seriousness, you guys, this makes for an awesome last minute gift. Established Titles is a Black Friday sale so you guys all of my subscribers can get a 10% discount visit establishedtitles.com slash Klug that's establishedtitles.com slash Klug I will put a link in the description below let's get back to the video so it's interesting that you say that um, in the poll number one result when asked when asking Americans uh, just in general not it's bipartisan uh, what they see Democrat leaders most focused on number one was January 6 uh, similar Same to what you're talking thing, about yeah. Why do you think they're focused on that? Well, they're, I'm pretty sure they're just focused on that because they're just trying to get him on the light to show that uh, he's the wrong person for the job, maybe in the 2024 election. At the end of the day, they know, uh, they see Trump as a as a bad person. I, wanna, I don't know how to kind of explain it. But political threat. A political threat, yeah. I guess, and at the, I just feel like um, that's not the most important issue. And do you think January 6th should be a top issue for the midterms? Well, that's interesting. It's a top issue for me, and I hadn't thought about that as being part of the um, issues that are of concern to me. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to see us have another January 6th. That's why I say justice. Well, it's always going to be um, one against the other. I mean, it's just basically what they're going to, what the best argument's going to be, what the people want. But, I mean, I don't know. Well, people, people are making the argument that Democrats are just out of touch for the midterms. I mean, number one issue being January 6th. Um, do you think that's a, is that, is that out of touch or is that a good focus? I think it's a good focus. January 6th? Yes. I agree. You agree? Yeah, I think it's a good focus. Now, obviously, oh, yeah, that doesn't match up with what Americans are most worried with right now. Do you think that's problematic for the midterms for Democrats? You being a Democrat, what do you think? I don't think so. I think you it's think absolutely. I think they're going to really? get whooped in the. No, I don't think so. The, this election, the Democrats are going to lose. I don't think they're going to lose. Do you think ja uh, January 6th, <laughs> do you think talking about January 6th is the winning uh, point to drive home to win votes? She doesn't, you're really I, don't really I haven't followed the news since like, forever. It, it, no, it, it's stupid, and it makes them look even worse to keep going back on that January 6th. Like, it's over. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so why would, why would, that, why would that be an Trump issue anymore? Profit. So, obviously, Democrats are far away from that. Do you think they're just screwed for the midterms? I, I believe for at least the midterms, yes, yes. They're definitely far away from it because they, just, they, they only have their agenda. Their main focus is just trying to say... That either Trump's bad or they're just trying to target, you know, certain people. They're not. They're not focused on any any average day American. They do not have a clue about what's going on here in America. You know, does it shock you that January 6th is coming first place. Is yeah, that? Yeah, it does. Because it was really in in the end when it's totally evaluated. Most of those people that they're arresting and putting in jail were just there. To me, they were traitors, yeah. traitors to our country, right. traitors, traitors to, to our, our democracy. Process, right. Yeah, exactly. to our democracy. In, in the same, you know, recent uh, Harvard Harris poll, when they polled Americans in general on what the three top issues are, three issues was uh, inflation, the economy, and illegal immigration. Right. Um, basically, my main question is, you know, if that's what we believe Democrats are most focused on, and we support that, and it's absolutely not lining up with what America wants. Our Democrats just screwed for the midterms. They very, uh, they very well could be. They could be. Uh, that's People are saying that Democrats are out of touch when it comes to January 6th being a top well, issue when it comes to everything else that's going on. Here, Do you, here, you, you guys disagree thing. with that? There's a, there's a section of the Democratic Party that's so far left that they, they are out of touch. 
There's a section of the Republican Party that are so far right, they're out of touch. And then there's independent voters like me that will vote for either if they're moderate and they make sense. My, my question is, though, like, you know, when it comes to Democrats and, and how they're going to perform, a lot of people are saying, hey, red wave. A lot of people are saying that. The reason why I think a lot of people are saying that is because polls are showing Democrats aren't focusing on the issues of uh, skyrocketing inflation, the most illegal immigration in American history, right. you know, prices, gas prices, whatever it may be. Is that is that a problem for Democrats that they're not focusing on these issues? It, it is, and, 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 and your, your use of saying this about the polls always leaves a very important variable out, and that is what they call the swing voter or the independent voter. Well, that would be included in the primary, in their primary right, uh, poll of... Right, but we don't primaries. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, gen like their general poll of of what Americans are most focused on. Right. Uh, well, if you guys would like to see it, I, I have it actually. No, no, if you guys I, would like I, to I, see I, a physical I, copy I, of it, I understand, and I and I've heard it and and listen to that's, it. That's why I'm bringing up the potential worry for Democrats. There is because the 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 general poll for Americans in general does not line, uh, up. line up with what Democrats are seen as focusing on. Well, which part of the Democrat? party are you talking about? I mean, a lot of the far left Democrats don't line up with any of my... It would be a general across the, the board general, Democrats, the, the what, 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 what they're seen as focused on. That would be the last year of what they hammered down on, on media, uh, campaign, you know, um, campaigns that they've been speaking there, at. There could be, there could be a red wave, there could be a status quo, they could gain, they could lose. No one knows till we all go to the polls. I mean, January 6th being at the top, do you think they're just out no, of touch? I don't think they're out of touch. I think it's all done purposely. No, I think it's strategic. It's very strategic what they're doing. What they're doing in their dismantling of America is very strategic. Um, when it comes to Democrat leaders being perceived as number one issue they're focusing on is January 6th, you guys don't think that's a mistake for their base, or you guys do? I don't think it is a mistake, because what happened in January 6th made me very angry. I, I, I agree to disagree with my wife in that if you're focused on something that happened, A, in the past, and it's now in the past, and we all saw it and heard it and could form our own opinions, what needs to be focused on is what is the most important thing right now. And I think that's the argument that a lot of people are making. And if you ignore what is going on right now, it, it will be at your peril. Whoever's in office doesn't represent my issues. It never has. You know, that's a person that's elected, and they have a ton of people in Congress that pay a lot of money to a lot of money to get their agenda through. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. The right doesn't care about the center. Only the left cares about the center. Really? That I don't believe. I totally. So, agree. Yeah, so, the so, right never talks about how do we get to the middle. They never do. Who do they you never talk about compromise. Who do you think they is talking about what's fair? They talk about what I want and what I want right now. That's all we talk about. I'm just standing from the outside looking in. I'm just saying, being honest. Just being honest. Out, outside looking in. I think it's. I, I. I'll tell you what. Being a person that's in the middle, I think it's a two-way thing. I think the right has bat. Sh Pause that. Bat crazy stuff on the right. This QAnon stuff. It's ruining the right. I think this whole thing of gender identity is ruining the left, and I think that they're forgetting everybody in the middle. The Harvard-Harris poll uh, showed that Democrats are not focused on immigration. Do you think that's a big issue? You no, said you're a registered do Democrat. Do you think that's a big issue? I think what the Democrats need to focus back on, there's a legal process to get into America. Just because you cross that border and you're here, A, it's, it, it's like people argue the term illegals you're illegal because you didn't do the process to get in America. Hey, you come across illegally and you're illegal, ship them back. What's the problem? Why are we even debating this? Why do we even have to spend money going through due process? You came across illegally. You don't have the paperwork. You need to go back. All right, everyone, that is it for today. So let me know what you guys thought about what people had to say. Are Democrat Party leaders out of touch or is their base out of touch? Let me know down in the comment section below. You guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and hit that bell notification button so you're notified. Next to my posts, we'll catch you next time. Goosey is her name? Hey, Goosey, how you doing? Such good girl belt. What are the what are the most important issues?